Hi there and ho there. How you doing? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to Grayscale Painting. Well, today, I think we're just going to have a little fun. We're going to paint a series of waves and clouds. You don't know what's up and down. It's just a really ragged looking scene. Um, this is an 11 by... Actually, it's a 10 by 15 inch um, rolled canvas on a uh, foam board. All right. I have colored the whole foam board with a um, sea green and black and white. So it's kind of a grayed out sea green for the whole thing. All right. So we're not going to really try and cover up all of this unusual color. Okay. All right. And we're going to, um, well, I'm going to do a painting that hopefully you guys can emulate rather easily. I'm going to do this as simple as I can. So maybe you can try to do this and come up with your own dynamic wave uh, scene. This is more or less an exercise on brush strokes itself. All right. Okay. Let's look down here at the board. At the, um, yeah, the um, palette here. <coughs> We have um, Bernumber, Thalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, or Turquoise. All right, and then we have our Titanium White. Okay, let's uh, play around with um, some of this Thalo Blue. Thalo Blue is going to be pretty important. It's going to give the depth to our clouds and a whole lot of play with our, our ocean. But so I'm going to take well, if you guys can see it here, it's only here. Yeah, you go. The light hits it only on the corner of the brush. And we're going to just dance the brush around. Let's start at the top. I always kind of like my tops a little on the dark side. Okay. And you're going to really work this blue. Work that blue in there. Don't get it too close. Space it a little bit. And, and we're going to go back up here and we're going to darken that up a little bit. And let's bring some of this joy downward. All right. Like that. I'm going to bring some of that love down in here too. Alright, just let your brush do what it do. Then we're going to take it, we're going to play around, we'll stir it around a little bit in spots and spaces. Okay, I'm going to bring some of that down in here too. Like I said, you don't know what's going to be up, what's going to be down. Alright, just like that. So we're going to start blending some of this stuff in. Okay. Like I said, it's a good exercise for your fan brush. Good exercise for your blender, um, whatever blender you choose. All right, I got a medium one here, and then we're gonna just use this. We're gonna kind of whip this up and stir it around, just like that. Don't try not to cover all that base color, since the base color is a little bit on that on the blue side in itself. Okay, so we're gonna get it kind of traumatic going and traumatic and kind of crazy looking. Just like that, just roll it around haphazardly. Stir it around, you phase some in. I want my corners to be relatively dark. Okay, and down here you just kind of left and right a little bit, just get some of that color moving around in there. It's like that. We're gonna play around more with the dark blue in this area very shortly. Just like that, and we'll just keep playing around in it there. Just like that. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to take the same fan brush. I still got the uh, kind of magenta or the magenta. What am I thinking about? The um, ultramarine blue. And right where the light spots are, we're going to just kind of tease a little bit of that in there, just to strengthen up those areas. Just like this. And we're going to take some of this color. We're going to bring it downward too. Okay. We're going to kind of throw some of that in there like this. Like I said, you don't know where top is and where the bottom is for, as of right now. Put it all in there like that. All right. Kind of mix it in like so. Only two colors. But remember, the secret really is the background color there to which you can have um, any color you would wish 
I just chose to use this color, the black and white and the um the black and white and the uh turquoise. And right now soft leaves just blend those colors together in there. You don't you don't want a separation of colors, you just want the colors kind of melt into each other there. And then down here, same thing, just kinda of blend all of this in, go in various directions with it. Like I say, you, you, you kind of don't know where one stops and where one begins. Okay. We're going to have a little more fun with this. Okay, we're we'll kind of whisk some of that around there. Just smooth it. We're going to smooth all that out as we're doing it. So I know it, it looks kind of incomprehensible right now. Like, what is he doing? But you will see. You will see. But as you can see, I got most of that color down here, down below, all faded in a little bit. All right, okay. But we're not done yet. Let's go back to our fan brush. Only two brushes so far. We're gonna get, once again, a corner, a corner of, of titanium white, all right? Now, obviously, you don't know where the light areas are, but you should see it by the camera here. And this kind of, place some of these in here all right in spots just in certain little little areas there kind of, kind of you tap them in there a little bit and you, remember you don't know where one goes and one one starts and one ends put it around in there like that and we're gonna we're gonna wave all of this we're gonna put all this in there we're gonna kind of take my brush here and i kind of get some twirly little things happening in there like that at least try to get it in some kind of comprehensible direction. The more you mess with it, the more it blends in with the colors. But we're going to get our our blender brush and we're going to help that along. Really turbulent stuff happening there. Let's put some of that in there, wave that in there really good. Fade some of that out. Got a nice intense one in here, which is fine, just like that. Be very loose, very casual with it. All right. If you're too nitpicky, it won't look as well. Be very loose. Be very open with it. Make it look exactly what you, what you see here, like a mess. Now we're gonna smooth a lot of that, and it's gonna blend in and look like very stormy clouds there. Just wisp it around. If you want some of that brightness, then you just go around the brightness and just fade in all the rest of the rest of the white there. Let it mix and blend right in there like that. And if you notice, I'm kind of making little stringy trails. I'm blending it in some, subduing others. Okay. Let those clouds really churn up and act out there. I'm wiping off my brush, continuing on. All right, now I'm gonna take my same brush, very lightly, X strokes. Smooth some of that out a little bit. Go on up in here. X strokes, light, very light. Cause you don't wanna get rid of all that, all that detail. Turn some around a little bit. Just like that. We're gonna still we're gonna still play with color. Okay. So some of these guys are already kind of settled back in there. Follow me. See? Alright. I'm just wiping off my brush here on my towel. Okay. Now let's play. Let's get some um deep blue here. Okay. And we're going to tap in some of that blue up in here in the sky a little bit. But we're going to kind of dance it around like this. Get some over here, dance it around. Come down in here a little bit. Come come up into the clouds a little like that. Just dance it around. Corner of the brush still. And if you want, you can kind of 
make a little splashy looks like this in there. A couple of them there like that. Have your dancer on, come down here and really let it let it play there. Okay. We're not gonna smooth all of these out per se. You gotta have it pretty dark, especially down below here. And you kinda all down here, fairly dark. Get it pretty deep there. Going back into my thalo, coming right down to the bottom here. Fairly dark down here. This is the front. Okay. Wave some of that around there. Come out here. Get some of that going up there. Like that. emulate what I'm doing I'm not gonna fade all of that in only only a little bit maybe up here we'll kind of kind of make some of that blend in with that cloud get some dark clouds in there like this all right just kind of wake up some of that background a little bit and we can kind of softly go to the edge here just real soft on the tips there Okay, because once again, you don't know where one starts and one ends. You follow me? So you kind of blend it in, mix it a little bit, very lightly. Just kind of smooth some of that. You don't want to over blend. Very lightly, very lightly. The more you, more you, you, you play with it, the more it start blending in. Okay. You want the intensity. You still want some smoothness, but you want the intensity of the darks. You want some intensity of the lighter stuff. But if you know, I'm, I'm shying away from putting light down in this area. It's not really needed. After we do this, it's where, where the picking and choosing is where the fun really begins. Okay. All right. I think I'm done messing with this a little. I'm wiping off my brush really good here. I don't think I need to really do too much more. I can kind of even out some of this darkness here. Just like that. Just like that. Very lightly. Kind of smooth all that good stuff out there. All right, now look at what you got here. Consistent mess of color. And believe it or not, some of the, some of the true color is still in there. It's still in there in spots. Okay. Don't worry, you did not lose all of that background. All right. Now, here we go. We're going to dip into pure titanium white. And what we're going to do in the back, this is where you, you judge, you decide where, where do you want your, your C to start. Okay. Up to you. All right. I guess I'll have it start somewhere up around here. I'm going to get little, little, I'm twisting my brush back and forth, just like this. This little little twist. And I'll put something up here like that, and then I'll kind of come around in here like this, kind of get some stuff going, just like that. All right. I know it looks kind of weird right now, and we're gonna kind of get some stuff going right in here like this. All right, and maybe maybe something come in this way. We got a little little something coming here. Got to be pretty bright though. <clears throat> very haphazard looking but it's going to look correct in, in a second or two we're going to come up here and we're going to add some some kind of happenings in here like that remember we have the glycerin so it's going to maintain its wetness for a little while um kind of get some stuff going in here maybe a couple couple of things happening right up in here Put it right up there like this. All right, and we'll get some cute little things happening, popping around in there like that. All right. So let's start doing some things. Now with what we have here, okay, we can start, oh, aiming downward. We're gonna go in this direction. So we're gonna take some of this 
no paint on the brush or anything and we just start aiming downward look aim downward Had to get a little little heavier and then see this and it just dives down a little bit all right just like that so that's one wave or at least the symbol of one let's do some here see how you can get all this turbulent stuff going here have it come down like that you got some coming this way make it kind of crazy looking you got one here come down have it come back up probably run into this one here we just got some spray going so Here, get some craziness going up in there like that all right got some back here so you got some darker ones keep blending it go in the same direction but just get keep blending now you got some waves kind of far away in the back back there all right you got some stuff happening in here I'm just tapping it and I'm gonna tap and bring some of this bring some of it up like like that but maybe down here so up around here like this we kind of rub some of that away just like that and you got some out this way just like that don't have to make them connect rub some of that bring it now see now you got you got a, a point to where your water is following all right and they're down there in the back we can kind of subdue this guy just rub it into to that color like that bring some of it down in there a little, little fade of some get some activity going away up there some of that in there like that so you got all sorts of things going on you get some more white okay and we're going to start to Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Um, here we can kind of go upward like that. All right. Um, kind of swerve that around a little bit. Bring it out there. Bring this one out here. I can use some of this, what I got back here. Have it go in the other direction there. Actually, I like it going this way. Just like that. But look at the action. Look at what you have already. Okay. Go up there with this one. I'm just wiping off my fan brush. Everything's being done with the fan brush. Fade that color in. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to, of your color. Put it in there. look what we got going on here with all of that all right let's get some a uh, little bit of blue and we're going to darken in some spots in there all up in there and make it a little dark get that little shadow going there talk about turbulence and violence in your water Nothing but the ultramarine or um, phthalo blue in here. Put it all up in there. And even with doing a painting like this, it's all about perception. All about what you want dark, what you want light. What do you want to be shown? Okay. I'm wiping off my brush and I'll slowly blend this in. Okay. Oh, let's get a nice somewhat deep patch going on in there but not not really all the way and we're gonna take it and kind of brush in some flip it some darkness in there just like that okay put it in there take 
some of that and brush it in there make it a little deeper you can always accentuate a little bit later and we will you work broad and then you start narrowing things down a little bit okay all right some more titanium white just on the tip of the brush and you start you know getting a little, little narrow whatever you want going on in it going on there I can probably have this one kind of snake out there like that. something like that same thing here just kind of put it out there like that kind of get some activity going in there just like that you just picking and choosing your high points okay and we got some coming here make make sure they go the right way though got some craziness happening here kind of splash it around there we got one kind of coming this way like that and kind of trail it get some uh, more white you really have a lot of fun with this and maybe we get some get some some caps rolling in there like this get some kind of foam happening right up in here this one so get some pretty bright foam going on in there like that get some more paint I just hit my uh, foam with the <laughs> with the brush I tend to do that a lot just like that We get some kind of foam going on in here. Um, maybe a little bit of foam right up in here. Get that white paint going there. Some phthalo blue. And we're going to come on down here and kind of get some of that going all up in here. See how you're going to shape things up here? And remember, you don't necessarily put it right up in there like that. I'll bump on the here rub it in there so you need that darkness to emphasize get some water currents going there just like that <coughs> bring some of that up into the if that's sort of going to look like a cardboard cutout. All right. Oh, a little bit of depth in here, this fella. We're going to get some of that going up, back up into here. See, you start to kind of shell things out a little bit and when you do that you'll set some waves back you bring some forward go in the direction of your waves okay if you need something a little bit darker don't be afraid to get them a little darker see that the more you do it the more it blends in like so like so you just you don't know where one starts you don't know where one begins okay just rinse it off the brush real quick <coughs> good way for you to practice your your foam your white caps all that good stuff let's kind of put some stuff up in here look at this and kind of 
peek it up here and bring it on down. Mm, let's get some stronger stuff down there like that. This guy brings some there like that. We're pressing a little hard there. Get that emphasis of, of pure white caps going on there. Right here, do the same thing. Just like that. Bring some further down. Get it really going there. Okay. All right. I'm looking. Seeing where I need to kind of accent some more stuff here. Just like that. Bring it right on in there. I don't have to really high cap everything. Have some go right into the air. Trail it right off the canvas if you have to. Get something happening right, right in there. Just like that. Fade it out. This is a painting where stroke, stroke lines are welcome. Okay. They're definitely welcome. Fade it right in there. A few directional lines don't hurt. But look, look, look at what you have there. All right. We're going to get it a little more mysterious. Like I say, you got all sorts of stuff going on there. Let's get a few bits of activity going on like in here just like and maybe a little bit of it in here have it come down a little bit like that bring some water trails with it like that some interesting little things going on there oh we get some stuff happening with this fellow Okay, let's have it kind of go this way. Kind of fade it out there. That we'll take care of real easy. That can be kind of stirred around like that, like a little mist coming up off this guy. Just like that. Get a little cloudy there. Put it right in there. Get a little bit of tip of, of paint. Get some mist going in there, all haphazard. Roll it right into the right into the wave there. You're gonna kinda want some mysteriousness that you don't know what's going where. Put it right up in there. Okay. Like that. Put it right in there. Just the tip of paint on the brush, on the corners, and you can have your little fun there. See the sister around. Bring it down below, up here. Mix it in there. You don't know where any of it's starting and ending at. And you just develop it in a way to where you really don't know. Okay? But you know where the main activity is. You're looking right at it. fan brush soft blending blend it right in there okay so you got some stuff in the background there and like I say we're working working really detailed now in certain spots drag it down bring them up bring them up drag them down up to you really too much of this this is fine and where it's going there I like that all right I'm looking looking I'm looking I'm looking okay I'm gonna take a very soft brush now and I'm going to gently very gently from the back be be careful you don't want to blend it out we're gonna soften up some of those waves there 
soften some of that up there make them in the background and even soften this up a little bit back there okay oh uh, let's see where else can we soften some of this you can you know really pick and choose I'm going in the inside of some of these waves just to make them a little darker that's all that's all just like so all right there we go so you can you still still can kind of see all I'm doing is taking some of the white out mixing it in with that background blue okay that's all okay smooth some of that out blend it smooth it out a little bit add some darkness in this front wave a little bit just like that smooth it out so you get to pick and choose all that turbulence and all that wind and all that fun stuff that's happening up here we'll probably put a couple of seagulls in here too flying around and you really don't know even they don't know where the heck to go unless we put some rocks in there all right let's get a um script liner for one second let's get some get some white really watered down white right now okay so i can put some of these birds in here they're not going to be overly detailed of course but they'll have more of a of a characteristic shape let's put one right here even give him a body all right let's give him a wingspan though a little bit brighter he's a little closer to us so we'll kind of give him a shape all right that's one there we're gonna give him a nice dark band in there. We're gonna give him a band. We're gonna give him a band around his his head there, if I can get it in there right. But the paint might be a little thick, the white paint. It really doesn't matter at this point if it's brown or whatever. We're gonna darken the tips on this fella. Alright. There we go. Something like that for that guy. <coughs> Let's put another one down there. Like I said, you truly don't know where things are going with this fella. We'll kind of kind of scoop him downward like this. Um, give him a little twist there for his body. And we'll kind of aim him that way. And we're going to give him, a, like I say, we give him a wingspan there. All right. As you can see, when you add them in there, I'm getting a little bit of blue, a little bit of brown. We're going to mix both of those together there. And we're going to, I got to be careful here. Just give him that dark seagull brand there on him. Okay. And we might have uh might have room for another one. <clears throat> put a few more in there we'll put some of these guys a little further away oh we have one maybe a little bit low right up in here a little tiny fell up in here we got this one here he kind of like that something like that oh somewhere like this give him a little bit of a body we got one 
maybe a nice one right here like that Give them a little bit of a body there all right and just because they're further away don't mean they don't have any, any little, little little markings on them still got to give them little markings so all about impression there If you can, go for it. I just got to be careful because the paints are very wet. Okay. All right. So we, we've got a nice little, little flock going here. I can take this darkness here and pop in some far away. Far away. They're darker birds, so they're, they're, they're far away there. Put them in there. No matter how large you make them, they're still far away. So now we're playing with color. We're doing aerial perspective using color using the animals. See that? And even though they're little V birds, you're still giving a bit of life to this painting. Because you got something a little extra than just clouds and waves happening there. Put one right here in, the, in this mist, just like that. So you got all sorts of stuff happening in, in this rather simple painting. All right, we're gonna do one more thing and then we'll we'll call it a day. Let's get um, we'll go back to the small fan brush. I want a tiny, my tiny fan brush. If I can find him, there he is. I'm gonna get a little bit of little bit of water, just a little bit. Go into my white paint. We're gonna just use the tip of the brush here. If you can, get a little close to it and we just add some, some spray up in there. Okay, and I'd rather do it this way, just a little bit of water, a tiny bit of white paint. Because your paint got to be somewhat still thick so it can hold on to this stuff. And you just kind of spray some of that love up there. Just like that. You don't have to add it all over the place. And um, this is thick paint, so the tiniest bit of water will help you out doing this. Okay. I'm generalizing it to very specific foams of wave there, so. I don't have to add them anywhere back there. Up front here, yes. Back there, not, not so much. Up, up in here. Add a few things there, kind of liven up, liven up the stuff, just like that. So you got bits of spray going on in there like that. All right, okay. I still think I'm gonna put something to set some of these waves back. Let's put a um a rock in there. How about that? Let's get a. We'll use a number. Um. Well, just use a flat brush. Let's aim the camera. Well, we'll put it put it right there. Okay, let's go into our little bit of brown here. We're gonna take our brown, take a little bit of this thalo blue and brown. We'll just mix it together. It makes a pretty powerful dark. All right. Okay, we'll throw a rock in there somewhere. Um, any type of rock placed anywhere in here is gonna set these waves back. But let's put uh, let's put one here. Let's put something just jagged, rough looking right up in here like this. And then we just kind of just mount him up right there for the time being. So he's right there. All right. Okay. Uh, make him look like a rock at least. Something like that. Put him in there. Okay, so you got some kind of messing around in there like this okay all right so we got something there get some more brown a touch of blue make it pretty dark there if I want to add if make it even darker just add a little bit of uh, a little and crimson in there if you want up to you I right, said so we got a rock in there that's not really 
saying that it's far away or the thing you just got a rock in there okay <laughs> pretty much um well let's have a little piece of rock up in here like this it's just he's out there somewhere like that all right okay nice it also establishes a little bit of depth to your to your water you don't know really how deep it is till you start having these breakers out here okay okay um i guess we can kind of sketch one out lumpy fella right in here he's kind of dumpy little little rock right there i'm getting plenty of brown plenty of blue i'm gonna have to cover him up pretty pretty decently there right here see you got him pretty dark too so because he's he's out there he's he's the one in the in the very front right here okay now i got plenty of the dark color so i can really put it in there really put it in there no glycerin or anything just paint it's really dark paint so i can really set him apart and once again when you do this all right it really sets the action back a little bit back there set some set some back a little ways just like that all right something like that put them right in there now it sets all that back you feel okay so you got one here you got one kind of pointing up there out oh, there like that let me look like a rock pointing there he don't want to give up this fella something like that and kind of disappear in there it's all right <coughs> all right um i think we're good as far as that that um i think that works yeah we'll keep it like that that works i'll just darken this a little bit so i'm using the rest of my dark color what i got of it now i'll just start making this one a little darker just in spots um i should have enough just enough to cover that little fella back there just like that not much there like so all right all righty here we go let's play with a little bit of what i got left of white and some of this dark color believe it or not even though i'm near the end of this painting i need more white because i ran out as you guys can see when i aim it down here we ran out a little, a little bit of white paint okay now get a little bit of white get some of that dark just like that kind of a dry brush almost okay and we're gonna start putting texture on these fellas um just where you feel it it needs it and blend it in blend it right in there go get some more and since you got the color already on your brush all you need is just a little white okay and kind of get some interesting patterns going there with it don't get rid of all that dark though okay we'll leave that alone we'll let it tack up so we put some final highlights on that a little bit later this fella here same thing kind of you don't want to overly bright but you want certain patches of brightness and you fade the rest in there yeah make it look distinguishable that it is a rock okay all right something like so use my finger i'll fade out some of that then you got this guy right up here in front of us he's a little more detailed of course but you got your core color then we'll just start kind of 
fade fade some action in there a little bit there okay just like that and we're gonna come on around in here do the same thing give them a little something right in here because this is not the obviously it's not the final highlight and we'll kind of get some of that work that in there it's generally pretty dark back back in here so just like that all right all right <coughs> now I won't use a palette knife for the little teeny tiny guy back there I'm just getting some regular white and we're gonna just kind of kind of pop a few bright little spots in there kind of frame him up a little bit and we'll leave it alone just like that that's, that's more than fine for Mr. Rock there all right okay look look at me we get a little bit of white we'll brush it right here it's mixed with a little bit of blue and that's, that's fine get a little swipe of that color come with me here and we're just gonna kind of give a little, 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 little touch pattern and let it do what it do there a little and like that we're gonna kind of get a little bit of, of that off of there and kind of have it come there like that and don't touch it no more that's fine let's get another swipe of white let's go over here to the big fellow I know it's pretty dark but here's the bottom you see my finger so we're not losing anything okay and I'll come here and I'll just make a nice little round pattern like that then I'll come over here I'll make another little round pattern like that we'll keep it and leave it leave it be then let it go we'll add some more right up in here we just kind of play around with it there like that come over here to the side and let it wave around all right I'm gonna get a little touch of white get a nice little swipe across uh, a little touch of something right there let's borrow some of this let's scrape it a little bit and we'll just kind of travel it back here it's mixing it with the blue and that's, that's fine give a nice little shade color to the rocks back there so you have all this kind of work for you all right um a little something there get another little swipe of color we'll kind of come around here but i would rather repeat the process with more new paint than to have like too much paint and if you especially if you know you're not going to hit the board for a while um, it doesn't matter to me because I just about almost paint every day. Let's take this. We're gonna come here and see how you bring that water up into the into the rock like that. Okay, and you can add a couple of taps in there, or give it a little little push, get some waves going on that fella. It's like that, kind of wave it off the off the side there. Um, we can do some of that here too. We can just kind of give it the letter the letter C treatment and put some splash up there like that okay it doesn't have to be super bright just where the foam hits this fella you can come here and add it up or like that get some get some little push foam going like that on that fella uh, maybe some of that up in here like that you really get that action going there okay wave some of that away there um we'll have it come up this way and just kind of spread it out like that just like that we're ready to get some of that action going there with these guys all right we can um probably get a little splash here come here press and bring it on over like that bring it on over now I blended it too much but that's all right I kind of got where I want the brightness to go there okay all right so it's blue that's fine watch what happens hopefully this is a one-shot deal too so hopefully I got enough white paint for, for this okay we are come here and we're gonna give it a little flick bring it down bring that one around a quick flick over there like that okay let's get some white paint here we'll coat it pretty good and then we just go just like that 
just like that. And we'll bring one up there. And bring one out there around there like that. So you know there's, there's water all cascading all through this and probably put some water probably popping through here like that. Maybe I'll splash or two up around there. Oh, maybe give it a quick little splash of something up around there like that. As long as you make it thick enough to know that it's like happening right there. All right. All right. We pretty much, I don't really think I, I don't think I need yeah, anything in the, in the uh, bottom here. So here in the bottom, I kind of want to deepen it a little bit. So I'll just get some um, thalo blue. Okay, that's not enough. Let's get some thalo blue. Oh, if you're playing with it, get some thalo blue, put it in there and stroke some of that thalo in the direction up into the wave. See that? Darken it. Put it up in there. All right, give, give yourself some shadow there. That wave is making a shadow underneath. So it's deeper here. And you start to kind of blend it into that wave. There we go. That's a lot better. Get that darkness in there of that water. Okay. <coughs> Where else might I need a little more darkness? Uh, I think everything else is pretty much all right. Don't need to add any more. We got all sorts of stuff, like I say, happening and going on in this. So the flow is there, the action's there. Um, some of the life is there with the birds. So I think that should be really about it. All right. So let's pull back a little bit and see what we got here. So I think you guys should get a pretty good grasp of what's, what's going on there with this. And there you have it, guys. All right. All right. Don't even know the name it yet, but that's all right. So another stormy sea using really, um, I'll show you the brushes I used. Um, no flat brush, I don't believe. Um, but it's, uh, let see. I know I have one more that I used here. Let's see if I can find that little fella. Here we go. So I just use these. These made this all right and about four colors all right the umber the phthalo blue the turquoise and the white that was all that was needed to do this you can definitely definitely hands down do the same thing i just did all right and once again it's just a practice in directional brush strokes that's all it is just a study on brush strokes no more no less okay and of course with more time you can be more detailed with your flow of the water extra water lines wave lines or whatever um that that, that kind of moves you to do i shall see you when i see you and until next time